Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics and Merry Christmas to all of you. Today, we are in the fish room and wait, what the heck is that? Did, did Santa come to the fish room? Get all this out of here. There's a bunch of presents under the Christmas tree. What the heck? Oh, what do they say? Oh. Yeah, they're, they're all from me. I got all my animals a Christmas present. And let's see what we got. We got two of the frogs from Carson, two of the turtles, the fish, and everyone. I wonder what they could be. I'm talking as if I wasn't the one that bought all these presents and just wrapped them five minutes ago. But hey, we're going to dive right into this. Let's see. Who gets to go first? You know what? We'll go with the fish first. Might as well. It's right up front. Guys, look. Carson Claus brought you guys a present. All right, here you go. Open it up. Oh, yeah. They don't really have hands. All right. I'll help you guys out with this one. Let's see what we got the fish. Oh, is that some frozen food? Hey, boom, there it is. Look at them, they're all so happy. So we are going to get a little cup of cichlid tank water and we are going to pop one of these cubes on into the cup. And I actually have no idea what the heck are in these cubes. Let's see, we got mysis shrimp, brine shrimp, and bloodworms. So basically what I already feed them, except for mysis shrimp, I don't even know what those really are. But we're gonna get that all thawed out and we're gonna dump it on into the tank. There it is. Ike going crazy as always. All of them just munching away. We got Bruce, the black belt. We got Killer getting feisty down there, jeez. We got Moby right here putting in that work. And boom, just like that. That was about 30 seconds. Everything is gone. That's just how it goes down in the 75. Look, Killer, still hungry. He's chasing Ike, what the heck? Ike, you just gonna let him do that to you? And we're gonna do that same exact thing for the 40 gallon, for Pluto, the flower horn, and the 55 gallon. So I'm actually gonna pop in two cubes this time. We got a lot more fish to feed with this one. You know what, make it three. If we have extra, we can just give it to the cichlids again. So we'll just start with the 40 gallon. Boom, all those Buenos Aires tetras looking like piranhas. The angel fish just gently munching away at it. <laughs> we got this tetra right here working on the shrimp. We got Freddy over here looking sad and hungry. Don't worry, Freddy, there is a present for you. You just gotta wait your turn. Moving on to Pluto the flower horn. It's gonna dump in a nice little amount for him. That should be good. And there he goes. Ooh, that is a lot, but I guarantee he takes down all of it. And real quick before I dump the rest of it into the 55 for the community fish, I'm gonna run up to my room and give some of that to Lou, the beta fish. Here we are up at Lou's tank. Also home to four of these Corydoras and four ghost shrimp. So I'm sure everything will get a hold of these blood worms and shrimp, especially this guy right here. So here we go. Lou still hasn't seen it. Oh, boom. Just got a blood worm. Oh, this Cory right here just got a blood worm. Oh, you know what I just realized? That is cannibalism right there. The shrimp is eating a shrimp. Wow, that one back there is working on a blood worm. I think Lou already had enough. Look at his stomach. Oh, guess not. But now we're gonna head back down to the fish room and give the rest of this food to the 55. Here we are, and look, they are all ready. They see me up by the tank, they know it's about to go down. And here we go. Boom, oh my gosh. Look at that, they are all going crazy. Look, the, li the little glow light got a huge piece of shrimp. And that was literally like 20 seconds and it's all pretty much gone. These community fish do not mess around. But now it is time for our second present and let's see what we should go with. I'm thinking we'll go with the frogs. This one should be pretty quick. As you can see, just an absolutely amazing wrap job on this. But hey, that don't matter. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Worms. Yep, definitely a brand new case of worms, never touched before. So we are going to pop this thing open and we'll just grab the first worm we see. There it is. And this one looks like a smaller one, so we can just drop this in by itself. We got Bertha coming right up here. I'll drop that in for her. Hopefully the fish don't mess with it too much. The current kind of threw it over there. Oh, she's heading back there, she's heading back there. Oh, there it is, boom. Oh, look at her. She's like rearranging it. Got the next one right here. And this is also a pretty small one, so we shouldn't have to cut this one. And I'll drop the, oh. I just dropped it. But I think Betty is in this cave. Yeah, she's in there. That should be like right on her. Can't really see it though. Oh, I just saw it disappear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yep, there it is. And the angelfish is blocking the view. But Betty got that one. She's scarfing it down right now. Yep, you can kind of see it back there. Yep. Oh my, can you stop, buddy? Do you mind? But anyway, now the last frog we got to give a worm is Freddy. Oh wait, we also got Frankie right there. We'll give him a little piece. Yeah, there we go. I just cut off a tiny little piece for Frankie and we'll give the bigger piece to Freddy. And here he is, front and center. Well, not really center, but you guys get the point. That should drop right down on his face. As long as this tetra doesn't mess with it. Oh gosh, dang it. Oh, 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 oh. Boom, got it. Got a bad camera angle right here, but dude, this ain't, they love blocking the view, I swear. But now we can get our tiny little piece of worm for Frankie. There it is, he should be able to handle it. And drop that right on in there. I'm gonna try and get this over toward him. That's right on him. Boom, there it is, got it. 
That's his first ever worm. boy, Frankie. All four of the frogs have received their present. So now we're gonna move on to the turtle's present. Here it is, I wonder what it could be. So let's dive right into this. It is crafted turtle cuisine. Wow, that looks fancy. Made with real insects, vegetables, and fruit. Hopefully the turtles like it. I'm sure my boy Junior's gonna love it. And just look at how disgusting this looks. I mean, that is nasty. I thought they were gonna be way smaller. Like they look like little peas in the picture. These things are huge. They probably smell absolutely atrocious. Oh, oh wow, that is absurd. Very strong smell. I don't see how any living creature could want to eat this, but hey, I guess we'll just see if they do. So I just got this little toothpick thing that I can use to get the uh, pellets if that's what you would call them, out of the bag so I don't have to touch them. Because I feel like the smell on these things would last days. So I'm just gonna poke one of these things. There we go. Now let's see if Junior wants it. You want it? Come on, he's smelling it. Boom, took a little bite there. There you go, buddy. Is that good or bad? I don't blame him if he doesn't want to take another bite. This stuff smells rank. Hey, the Molly wants some. You want another bite? I guess not. I honestly cannot blame him. Midas, you want some? The, oh, the goldfish. <laughs> goldfish just tried to finesse it. Oh, Midas just took off. Oh, the goldfish, boom. He just, oh, he spat it out. That one took it though. We're also gonna see if either of the baby turtles want to try one of these nasty pellets. Oh, huh? Timmy, is he gonna go for it? Oh, boom, he bit at it, boom, he's still biting at it. Hey, he actually likes it. I have no idea how he does, but I'm not complaining. Oh, is he running away now? Oh, he's coming back. Boom, still biting at it. Oh, it looks like he got a nice chunk there. Toby's over there doing God knows what. Hey, Timmy is having a field day up here though. All right, well, at least one of my turtles likes their present. I'm gonna get this pellet off of here. He can munch on that if he still wants to. And we are gonna move on to the last present of the day. This one is to everyone from me. And let's see what we got. I guess it's something that all the animals would like. So let's see. Oh, snap. It's a bag of crickets. It's about to go down. And just a fair warning to anyone that doesn't like seeing animals get eaten. These crickets are about to be eaten alive by my fish and turtles. So uh, don't watch it if you don't want to. But for everyone that does want to watch it, let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and pour all the crickets into this container. Boom. And we are going to start with Junior. So let's try and find the biggest one. Dang, there is way more than 12 in here. I only asked for 12 of these. This is probably at least 20. Probably around 25. So I'll just grab one right here. Looks like a good size one. Come here. Junior, you want a cricket? Oh, never mind. Yeah, I'll just grab another one. Here, you want a cricket? Come on, get him. Junior, what are you doing? Oh, this one's trying to escape. Hey, get back in there. Junior, bro, what has gotten into you? You used to crush these things. Oh, he wants to just bite it. There you go, buddy. There you go. I'm marching away down there. Want one more? Oh, these mollies want him. Here, you want another, bud? Boom, there it is. All right, next up, we'll drop one in for Pluto, the baby flower horn. Uh, you know what? We're actually gonna skip Pluto for this one. Look at his stomach. He is absolutely full of bloodworms and brine shrimp. We don't wanna overfeed him. So uh, Pluto, you're gonna have to sit this one out. Oh gosh, same with the angelfish, dude. Their stomachs are plumping out. So we're gonna head back up to my room and give a couple of these tiny crickets to my baby turtles. Both Toby and Tim. Oh, this cricket is on my hand. Oh gosh, all right. Got him right here. I'm just gonna drop him straight in. There he goes. Toby, come here. Hey, Timmy's coming over. A few moments later. All right, I don't know why they're in this mood. I thought Timmy was gonna come eat a cricket. Toby's just in a bad mood today. Literally, I don't even know what he's doing back there. All right, yeah, for some reason, neither of them want to cooperate right now. So I'll just leave that cricket in here. If they want him later, they can have him. We're gonna head back down to the fish room and feed the rest of the crickets to the cichlids. I don't feel like picking them all out one by one. So we're just going all at once. And it's gonna be an absolute frenzy. And here we go. Oh my, they're jumping everywhere. Oh, oh, they are all munching. Oh my gosh. Boom, oh, Dirk, the Texas cichlid back there munching. Ike just got one, front and center. Killer just got one. Oh my gosh. They probably all got at least one. There were like 12 or 15 left. Oh, Bruce just got one right there. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, someone just got one. And just like that, they are all gone. And that is going to wrap up this video. I think it's safe to say that all the animals like their Christmas presents. Well, except for the turtles upstairs. They were just in a weird mood today. But everyone else, I think, really loved their present. Again, I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever you celebrate. I just hope you all have a happy holiday. That is going to wrap up this video. And today's comment of the day goes out too. And if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I am gonna see you in the next video.
Dude, oh my god, that smells like doo-doo.